Hey guys, I just wanted to give a quick update. This won't be very long at all. And I just wanted to talk about my cycle and things I've noticed and things I'm taking. And I don't know if I told you guys what I was taking to prepare for TTC the next month. And I've been taking this for about almost two months now. Yeah, it's been almost, it'll be like a month and a half or so. Um, so anyways, when I went to my naturopathic doctor, I probably told you about this, but I'll just go over a list of what I am taking right now. He gave me Vitex to take, so I take two big pills in the morning of Vitex, and they're a really good quality grade of Vitex. I take a vitamin D capsule, capsule. I take a magnesium tablet, a vitamin A capsule, fish oil, what else? Oh, vitamin B12, it's like a lozenge, you put it in your mouth and it dissolves. Um, I think I said fish oil already. Oh, of course prenatal vitamin. And I'm taking Fertile CM. They're capsules that you take every, um, like three times a day, and I got them on Amazon. And they're supposed to help produce more quality egg white CM. So I'm taking that, and I'm also taking, um, it's a combination of red raspberry leaf tea. I drink that plain, and then I drink something called female toner. It's a tea that I also got on Amazon. And according to... A lot of studies out there, the red leaf, um, sorry, red raspberry leaf tea is supposed to help with an, a lot of things. It's good for women pre, t um, when they're TTC, pregnancy, and if you're not even TTC because it helps with menstrual cramps and helping your cycle be regular and not as painful and not as heavy. But what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to thicken your lining, your uterus lining, to encourage implantation and to discourage miscarriage. So, I've been drinking a lot of that in hopes that good things will happen. And it's just really good for you, too. It has a lot of good vitamins and minerals. It has iron that's really absorbable in it. So, I've been drinking that. And I'm going to see... when I When I drink it... Faithfully, my periods are about 90% less painful. It's just not being lazy and drinking it is my issue for some reason. But I'm really diligent this month doing that. And I'm hoping... Oh, they say it does boost fertility too because it's really healthy for you. And it gives you a lot of the vitamins and minerals. And as we all know, when we're more healthy we're supposed to be more fertile. So, yeah, I've been drinking a lot of that. If you have any questions about that, you could ask me, or just Google it. You'll find a ton of good things about the red raspberry leaf tea. And you can also Google the female toner. I heard good reviews about that. So, that's pretty much it. I'm waiting for ovulation, but obviously my husband's not here, so we can't do anything about that. And I'm hoping to see some good CM again this cycle. Now that my diet's on track, I've been taking the Vitex and all my supplements and things like that. So, fingers crossed, hopefully we will get some good um, egg white CM. I'm on cycle day 10 right now. Last time I started getting it a little bit, cycle day 11, 12, 13, and 14. So, four days in a row, which never happens, which was super encouraging. So, I'm hoping my body will follow suit again. But I just wanted to share with you one thing that came in the mail today and I was so excited about. And if you watched my financial challenge video, this is the things I'm talking about that I need to stop buying. But I'm, I'm super excited that I got this. So I will show you it. Hold on a second. What are you doing? My dog's running around like a crazy fool. Anyways, I ordered... Uh, the more business of being born package and I went all out and I got the whole package and for those of you who don't know about the business of being born Ricky Lake did a documentary about what really goes on in the hospitals and things like that with babies being born and just exposing the options that us ladies have to give birth and to just encourage you to do your research and to ask questions and don't be afraid to ask questions because it is your birth and your child. 
So she did a documentary about that, and she's she did a second one called More Business of Being Born. So I'm going to watch that tonight. I'm probably not going to upload this till tomorrow because I'm going to be busy watching that. But anyways, I'm just going to show you what came along in the package. So you probably won't be able to read this. It's going to be backwards. But I got a onesie. It came with a onesie. I didn't get it. It came with it. Um, it's called Born. It says Born Free on there. You can't see it's backwards, but it's so cute. It's like my first baby thing ever. I hadn't bought in any baby buys just because we're not pregnant and it just feels weird. But it came with a package, so I chose a gender neutral one. It's so cute and small, and when I got it, I was like, oh, I really want a baby so bad now. Oh, anyways, enough of that. I'll show you what else came with it. It came with this, um, it's called a guide to a healthy birth, and it just lists in here, like, things about a healthy birth, like VBAC, um... The truth about epidurals and things like that so it's just called the guide to a healthy birth so it came with that it also came with a coupon for this liquid iron called Floridix or something so it came with this coupon four dollars off so that's cool um, it came with the business of being born again and I'm gonna have my husband watch this with me this one and the other one um, which is the more business of being born which is, is the new one so I'm gonna have him just sit down and watch this with me so he could see what I'm talking about because I've talked about all this with him and he doesn't seem to get it so I think if he sits down and watches this with me it'll be a little bit more clear for him what I'm talking about so that's exciting um, and then the last thing it came with the book your best oh sorry poke myself in the eye <laughs> your best birth and um, I see some of you ladies have this book and it's highly reviewed so and I guess it's signed too it's a signed copy they probably all are but it said signed copy but anyways yeah I'm excited to read that so yeah that package came in today when I got it in the mail I was like oh I've been waiting forever for this so super excited about that Oh, another exciting thing that happened. This is just something me and my husband were talking about. And he's away right now. And we talk on the phone every day a couple times. But he said to me yesterday, yeah, I'm going to come home. And I'm getting really excited. And I was expecting him to say, because he has a project car he likes to work on. He's like, I'm really excited. This year is going to be such a great year. This is going to be our year. He's like, this is how he said it. He's like, we're going to have lots of sex and we're going to make a baby. I was like, this is the first time he's actually said to me, I'm really excited that we're going to, you know, get pregnant and things. And I think the reason why he never really expressed it to me was because he knew in the back of his head he was leaving to do this training. And it's something he just wanted to get done and get out of the way before we could really try and start to uh, get pregnant so it really melted my heart that he said that and it just means a lot to me that I know he's excited as well to um, have a baby so that was really nice this week that he said to me but anyways I will let you go you can hear my dog barking he wants to play so I'll let you go and um, good luck to all you ladies out there who are TTC or and those ladies who are in your two-week wait and all you pregnant mamas out there. I know there's um, some ladies out there who are close to their due date. So that's really exciting. I can't wait to see your little babies. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.